Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Arash D. Bazaar. This is your droplet of gold for today. Here's some advice on how you could deal with other individuals, other human beings. When you're dealing with people, it's a very good idea when you first meet them to gather as much information as you can for yourself by finding out how they treat other people. So an example of this is you want to see the person you're, let's say, in a relationship. I'm doing a relationship seminar this Saturday. You want to see the person. You want to see how they act at the mall. You want to see how they act in a restaurant. You want to see how they act with their family. You want to see how they act with animals, dogs, cats. You want to see how they act with children. And you want to catch them in these different areas. And I say catch them because in the beginning, everyone's putting out their best front, right? And you have to understand something. The problem that your boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife or your current, um, current person you're dealing with, uh, the, the problem they're, they're having with their ex and their ex before that, if they had relationships, is the same problem you're going to deal with because they are the same person. And unless they've gone through some life-changing uh, information, they've gone through some life-changing experience, then you're still dealing with the same person. Now, when you talk to them, they're going to tell you that it was the other person's fault. However, people are consistent in the way they act, okay? Now, one of the things that come up comes up is, Arash, don't you think people can change? I know they can change. I, I am an agent for change. I change people all the time. However, I know what it takes to change somebody. And it's not just them breaking up from one relationship going to the other. It's not just from one job to the other. It takes a very specific, exact scientific way to change somebody. Okay? Now, obviously, I know how to do that. As you see me demonstrate this all the time in my life and the people around me. Outside of that, do I think people change? No, I know they don't. So I pay attention to how people are interacting in their environment. Pay close attention. When they're not being watched, when they're not putting on the best behavior, who are they? then you have a clue on who you're dealing with. Don't ever be fooled in that you are going to be the one to change that person. It's one of the big mistakes that women make, okay? Oh, you're going to change him. You're not going to change him, okay? He's just going to put on his best behavior until he sleeps with you. Then he's going to be back to the same idiot that he was in the previous relationship. And men, same thing. Your problem is you look at a woman and go, she's different. She's not different. She's actually just like the last one and the last one and the last one, okay? And that's just the way it is, okay? So how do you fix it? Well, that'll be this Saturday. And I'll tell you how you can get, have a real relationship with people, real, true, genuine bonds, okay? Real pair bonds. So, having said that, let's talk about it. It'll be this Saturday night, and it'll be at, uh, what is it, 8 p.m. Whoa, 8 p.m. California time. Go to seductiveinstinct.com or go to imcmarshars.com, okay? And one more piece of advice. If you've not attended my lectures or if you haven't been to my boot camps, don't think it's okay for you to send me questions on Facebook and think I'm going to answer it because then you look really ridiculous when I ask you if you've ever attended. Oh, I don't have the money. Look, brother, if you, or sister, or whoever you are, if you don't have 1997 to pay for a lecture, then you don't have anything that I want. You're a complete, absolute loser. Let me let me state this. I should... I should uh, Make a drop of gold in this. If you cannot afford $20 in a week for powerful knowledge, you're a loser. Get a job. Be the best. Fuck the rest.